Oh, um, we got news from Hype Beast that there's going to be another another Sakai and Nike waffle racer. Um, this is something that I like and don't like about Nike on the same part. I think Nike do a really good job in terms of um, giving brands the ability to go into their archives or giving them permission to go to their archives, pull out shoes that maybe aren't in line with their overall marketing push and allow them to do their own thing right because sometimes in the big be- i think in the beginning or in the early stages there was a hierarchy of the terms of brands and what they were allowed to do and what brands and what shoes they were allowed to retro or bring back or what designs they were allowed to fuck with and shit but then over time i think with the prevalence of sneaker you know sneaker culture being a billion dollar industry and streetwear just blowing up all over the world and it becoming just you know power of course for the young generation nowadays i think brands have now understood that sometimes the best thing to do in a collaboration is to just let the collaborator do what they want to do in it because they're already bringing a pre-made audience to your brand the people that are going to buy nike and ideas always exist but the extra bump that they get of sellouts usually comes because of sakai fans wanting to buy a pair of shoes that are maybe with nike as opposed to just buying a nike shoe so you might as well let them you know have the freedom of the factory um and also it's cool as well because like i said um, sometimes brands have their own schedule of releases and stuff that they want to promote and market and sometimes they'll use brands as a way to kind of get the shoe more exposure, like start off making a collaboration. Like, you know, the the Nike Reacts um, Element 87s so was a good example of those, right? They basically um, used Undercover's name and brand exposure and, you know, uh, relevance in the sneaker game to kind of, you know, expose and market and advertise that shoe to a bigger audience. And then over time, they phased out that that or that first collection of collaborations sold out and then they kind of brought out some gr pairs but it's usually done in quite it's usually done quite close together back to back they don't give it time to breathe which is something that's annoying for me because well for most sneakers because i guess when you buy an undercover and nike collab you're buying it because you know it's an undercover nike collab when that special thing and it kind of devoids the specialness because within a space of a couple of months nike are going to bring out a gr version of that shoe or they're going to get undercover and give them more money and just pump out loads of other designs as we're seeing with the sakai shoes right they dropped essentially i think it might be up to close to 10 pairs of shoes now so far right including the blazers of the different colors of the of the ld waffle and it's just you're a bit fatigued by it now isn't it like how many times have you seen people walking around with a pair of it's good thing because you actually see people wearing the shoe but you'll get a bit fatigued they're not special as they once were before but maybe that's not their prerogative but now there's more news that sakai and nike are bringing out another um version of the sakai and L- sakai ld waffle this one is in all black with i think some uh nice leather acetones there. so yeah so i think it's black you got black leather black nubok and a kind of what do you call that nylon sort of like puff it's the material that you'd get on this on the tongue is basically applied on the toe box and all the way around it. it looks pretty cool um it's rumored to come out when's it rumored to come out here uh copper drop uh it's written in french for some reason i don't know why but when's meant to drop out we don't have any details here about it but yeah a special one's on its way all black it looks pretty cool but this is not all black it's black apple with a white midsole which is kind of my perfect combination of all black shoe maybe a white swoosh would have been pretty cool but maybe that's similar to what already they brought out before we might see this in the runway show recently and again it's got the nike nike and sakai on the back of the hill tab as well pretty interesting again maybe a bit fatigued by it maybe a bit bored and a bit over it but again you know nike have the tendency to do this and they have really nice thick nylon laces as well but i don't know are you a bit bored by these um, sakai and ld waffles yet or is it just me i think i'm a bit bored by them already i think they were special when i first saw them you know the stacked soles the the, everything is kind of stacked and put together in a weird kind of way similar to what you might see on the triple s but let's go triple s's but now that shape and that you know it's the the kind of not shock value but the appeal of it's kind of worn off over time maybe it's just me i don't know i'm a bit over them really i'm not sure what to think about them really but again black and white trainers you know i'm always down for but i'm not sure if i'm down to wear these right now especially once everyone has them but maybe it's just my sneaker hipster coming out in it who knows <laughs>